Mama, so I want to thank you so much for buying the one-year-old workbook. And I just want to send a little video and show you a little bit how I put it together. So there's multiple, there's different ways that you can put it together. Um, and I'm going to show you kind of my way. Because toddlers are very rough, I like to use a laminating sheet. So I'm going to... Um, show you a little bit of you know kind of how it would end up looking so your book will end up looking like this this is a one inch binder and it has a clear cover on the top so I just quickly just um, added the cover sheet so that you know uh, about you know the book um, you don't have to laminate everything so I'm actually going to move the camera so that you can see um, what I'm seeing, it's gonna be a little bit easier. Um, so, so you don't have to laminate everything. Um, I only laminate the things that he's gonna, you know, my baby's gonna manipulate. So like the gold sheets, you can, if you want a reference or you can insert it on this side of the workbook uh, or you can just leave it. Um, you don't have to laminate the instructions. I like to just use, um, a, co a protector, a sheet protector for the pages. You can also buy um, tabs that you can place. I know there's one that have like stickies and you can have the different tabs for the book. Um, that way you don't have to laminate everything. You know, sometimes lamination can get expensive and it's kind of slow if you have a lamination at home. The instructions you really don't need to laminate because you're not gonna be manipulating it. I don't have this one uh, laminated, but I should because, you know, you're going to be pointing and using it. And I'm going to give do a lot, another video show you exactly how to use some of these pages um, just to make it easier. The uh, alphabet, this one I would definitely um, laminate. You're going to be manipulating it. Um, you, you might be sticking it in on the wall where he can see it or your toddler can be have quick access um, you can do two-sided lamination so that you don't you you spend less um, so this would be good again you know you can use cover sheets if you don't have a lamination you can do cover sheets for this as well um, these are the flashcards and the way that I've done flashcards before is I have laminated um, construction paper so it's just a piece of construction paper and I have laminated it and then uh, these are a little bigger so you can play along but the book the book has a page for these um, so that you can print out and laminate and then uh, this is what you will end up with uh, so you're gonna have a sheet with the colors and then you have another sheet for mm, the cutout so basically, when you receive the um, when you receive your book, you're gonna get two pages on the file. You'll get um, the color sheet, and then you get one that says cut out. And um, these are for the matching games. So I already laminated this one. I laminated this one, and I did a three-hole punch so that I can put it on this book that I am uh, creating right now so we're gonna put that aside and I have my lamination machine from Amazon and this machine was just $20 at Amazon and I bought the scotch thermal lamination laminating sheets and you open it up you place it in you make sure that it's aligned kind of centered and this one says it's ready so I'm just gonna feed it through and another way that you can do to save money on lamination sheets is you can always cut these animals um, and all other uh, sheets that require you know animals to be cut and then you can just place them on the page and then you'll spend less paper because right now we're laminating the whole sheet but we're actually only using 
we're gonna be only using the animals so that would be an option I did it for um, one of the sheets on the other book and uh, what I realized is it took me twice as long to do it like that to cut all the like you cut all the animals and then you place them on a lamination sheet and then you cut them again so you're kind of doing double work and there is a lot of pages so it is kind of um, you know time consuming the other thing that I wanted to tell you is that you do not have to put the book together all at once because you might not be using it all at once. I'm, I need scissors, hold on. So you can, you know, you can print out, maybe you can print them all and then just start laminating as you work through the lessons. Maybe you only want to start with the colors. Uh, maybe you only want to start with some numbers. So, for me it's easier to handle smaller pieces of paper and you can go as close to the edge or as far as you want. So basically you can do like a white trim like that or you can go, you know, through, you know, each of the or surrounding. I like their, when they're smaller, they need like bigger items to manipulate. So I'm just gonna go quickly and make a little border around. Try to make um, your cuts round because when you laminate this, can get a little bit um, rough. So I'm gonna just fix that. Um, so then you just have your paper. Um, let me take it out so that it's easier. So we have our sheet and then you got the velcro and i just bought these are new so it's a big roll because right now i'm building a few of them uh, so there's a rough side and there's a soft side uh, it really doesn't matter which side do you use i always tend to put the rough side onto the, the piece and I grab in the middle. I make my life easier by instead of gluing it here and then trying to align the dots, I just place it here and I turn around and th then when I align it. So once I align it, because these have sticky, they're going to align perfectly where they need to be. And these are uh, heavy duty, um, Velcros and they work a little bit easier when they're younger than these that are you know you see how soft this is like, versus this you know that sound that motion um, it really engages them so they really like it so basically all the setup that you have to do works exactly the same way you just have different um, different pictures and different images so you take a rough one and a soft one the rough one goes against the piece that you're gonna be removing and then you align them And that's basically what you do uh, for each of the pages. Um, so that is, is an easy way to assemble it. Um, like I said, you don't have to laminate them, but it is better if you do because um, it's a lot easier uh, for it to handle. You And the idea is that you want them to work on this over and over and over and over. So you want something that's sturdy. Um, the lamination was only $20 at Amazon and I paid about $15 for the Velcro and the lamination sheets and I pay that because I'm building six books right now so I needed a lot of them they have smaller quantities so 
it's a way to do it um, and then obviously as they grow there you're gonna be using lamination all the time so if it's something that you know you are crafty and you're you know looking to do a lot of activities and counting and things like that I would invest in a lamination um, machine but if not you can always go to different places do not go to Kinko's do not, like FedEx don't go to Office Max if you're gonna print them or if you're gonna lamination because I paid $50 to print only print and bind a book versus I went on a website called value printing or something like that and I paid seven dollars for it to be printed on a better paper um, I didn't bind it because I you know I figured the um, the three ring binder works a lot better so if you're gonna if you're going to um, sorry if you're gonna send this to be printed somewhere else do not go by the default of FedEx and Office Depot because they're very expensive so that is it for the uh, placing it together I'm going to be showing you um, on the speed camera how you can save lamination sheets by doing less
simple it is to set up the book. All you need to do is a laminating machine or you can send it online, print it in color and um, cut it and save it. So I showed you how to laminate it and cut it, put the Velcro on and then also how to save money on laminating sheets so you use um, less paper which means less lamination and create uh, multiples at one. It does take a little bit longer uh, but if you want to just consolidate all the stickies you can also do that. Um, you can laminate everything at once, you can laminate all the cutting pieces at once and then you know cut everything, velcro it and then put it together or you can do one by one as you go through the lessons. So it's up to you. So again, if you have any questions, just let me know. Send me an email, alexa at kidactivitieswithalexa.com um, and I'll be happy to help you. All right, enjoy your book. See you next time. Bye-bye.